last video you saw you know, how I, I close a deal with a client and make sure we're at least if not getting paid up front in full, getting sort of half up front and here's a reason for that. So this is a common scenario in accounting you know, and, and, and running your own accounting business. You may not realise this but in accounting we secure a nice client like the client before. We've got a nice company to do, self-managed super fund, individual return. So here we are, we have that meeting with Sangram. Boom. Close the deal. New client. I've won. It's over five thousand dollar client. And there's lots of new youngish accountants out there that'd be wrapped to get that client. Oh, big client, so exciting. Now I need to. What do I need to do next? I need to get company register. I need to get last year's individual tax return. I need to get last year's returns for the company. Last year's returns for the super fund. I need to get the super fund need deed. I need to get the bank statements for all the super funds. I need to get last year's audit audit report to make sure the audit is okay. I need to get a, an engagement letter out to the client. I need to get a sign. All this stuff right, easily will take one month. Easily. If you got all that stuff off from all these other sources in one month, you would be wrapped. You'd actually done a fantastic job. Normally it would take at least two months to gather all that data. At least. The guy's five basses overdue. What are his books going to be like? They're probably not up to date. Everything, you know, like really... You'd be so happy to get it in a month. Say you do all the work, right? And including the super fund, okay? Including the super fund, it is going to take you, look, on average, I, I would say it's going to take you three month, uh, two months. Let's be realistic. So that takes us out to month three already. And I mean, maybe if you're like lightning and there's no queries, no issues, you've got very little other work on, maybe it would only take you one month. But I think realistic in a normal practice no matter what, with gathering the data and doing the work, we're going to be three months before we finish that work. Then if instead of asking for payment up front, we follow our traditional terms, we meet with the client and maybe we finish the work, we call him, he comes in, you know, like a week later or something like that. We meet with the client, we go through everything, the client is happy, we present the invoices, you know, I'd like you to pay for that, you know, 30 days, something like that. We wait then, on average, we're going to wait at least a month and a half, so we're at month four and a half before we get paid, and that's actually good payment terms. You know, in accounting, it's not uncommon to, for your average debt a day is to be out around the 60 days, even the 90 days. So here I've done 45 days, you know, a month and a half. In this scenario, right, we've won the client and we're getting paid fully four and a half months later. And this is the point where we're going to then find out if Sangram's a good client, he'll pay us here. Now, if he's a bad client, we're going to have to start getting cranky then, getting some angry letters, some angry phone calls, and who knows, maybe he's like maybe 90-day payer or something like that, even worse, 100, 120-day payer. You know, we might not be getting paid for six months from the day that we met the client. And this is your issue, especially in a young practice where you are winning, you are taking on new clients. You know, we're taking on a new client maybe a week, every week. Two grand, five grand, ten thousand dollar clients every week. And we go, we're winning, we're winning, we're winning. And then we're getting into month three, month four, and we go, oh, we're not winning. We've been working really hard doing all this work, getting all the data together, getting it finished, getting it out the door, chasing self managed super orders, all the stuff we need to do to be able to actually finish a complicated job like that. Three or four months in, we haven't even seen one cent. And that is where it's super critical, I believe, to either. I mean, imagine if instead of waiting till here, five months later to get paid, we got paid in full on day one. And that is why when I was in practice, I'd ask every new client, how would you like to pay for that? And you know what? A third of them, 40% of them, even on a $5,000 quote like that, would just go, yeah, no worries, here's my card. Oh, okay, no worries. Swipe the card, paid. Paid here, before we've even started the job. Worst case... They're going to pay half up front. It's very normal commercial terms with a new client you've never met before to get half up front. So I'm going to get $2,500 here and $2,000, you know, the balance may be here. Hey, I, it's, I'm still so much better off getting this money here, you know, so much better off from a cash flow point of view. And if you are running young practice where it's growing and you're taking on those new clients, you're taking on, say, a new client a week like that, then you're getting those 50%, you know, every week, money coming in, cash flow coming in, because it's relatively easy to take on a new client every week, a new client every two weeks. 
much harder to actually finish the job every week, you know. So we're getting paid for winning the client. It's much better, much more rewarding. Cash flow is much better. Some of them are going to pay in full here, you know. So we're loading our cash flow back towards the front of the cycle, which is really, really important in accounting practice. So hopefully that's helpful, whether, you know, you're, you're part of our network or, or you're just looking at becoming part of the network. Just the sort of thing that you need to get run, get right to have your business working well. So, thanks, guys.